In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create seven steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here in the center, I've added the oval shape and you can add the business title. When I click, it will show me the first option where you can add the title icon and the detailed text. When I click with a different color combination, comes the second option, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And I've created one more slide with some different animation. You can see here, you can just give a different animation something like this as well please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the slide background to any light blue color background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape just click it here and under the shape format make the height and width as 6.75 and make sure to align center align middle and i'm going to make it somewhat transparent this one then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the shape trapezoid and then just i'm going to rotate this one you can see here i'm going to rotate this as flip vertical and then i'm going to make this as 1.5 and 2.7 and you can see the small orange point just drag this a little bit at the bottom and place it uh, exactly here in the center but it should be somewhat bigger or should be uh, more than it should come out from this oval shape okay so it should always be outside of the oval shape here or some part or the top part only again shape outline you can make it no outline and you can just give some different color combination and later on we can change it then i would like to give a oval shape here or the round shape at the bottom for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle, draw a small rounded corner rectangle and make sure it is fully curved. Okay. And make sure this is also again transparent shape outline, make it no outline. And let me just give some different color here. Let me just zoom in. And then here I would like to reduce the size. So it looks kind of a more of a make sure it is properly aligning with the here with the corner okay so now i'm selecting this shape and this shape merge shapes and make it union so it becomes fully curved here at the bottom you can see here the shape uh, it looks something like this all right so once this is done go to insert shapes scroll it down go to the stars and banners and i'm going to choose a seven point star draw a seven point star by holding the shift key and drag this down all right again make sure to align center align middle and then i'm going to why i've I added this uh, star here is because on these points i'm just going to place this option here okay press ctrl d to duplicate alt and one two three sometimes you have to draw um, we have to rotate at three times or four times okay again so i'm just going to place like this press ctrl d again one two three here you can see here I'm going to make sure that this is always should be the and one more time I'm just going to make it here three times only yeah so you can see here press ctrl D again alt and rotate it till rotation unit 2 till you feel that this rotation looks good okay so again press ctrl d to duplicate again rotate it all right you can see here and again alt and the right arrow key and then the last one all right so you can see here and then i'm going to duplicate this slide in case something goes wrong we have the additional slide okay so i'm going to delete the star now i'm going to select press ctrl a to select all the shapes go to the shape format merge shapes and make it fragment all right now i'm just going to delete this one you can see here
we end up getting a sorry we end up getting a shape which looks something like this now select all the shapes and give some different color here i'm going to give maybe a white color here okay make sure that transparency should be zero so press ctrl g to group it and ctrl d to duplicate and give some different color here and later on i'm going to change the color and hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here again align center align middle and send this to back all right and then press ctrl shift g to ungroup it okay so now it's time to just align it properly exactly it should come below this one you can see here so this also i can just move it and you can see here you just need to move it align it properly you can see here yeah so it looks something like this then go to the insert shape select the oval shape draw a small oval shape by holding the shift key and shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to fill with some dark color align center align middle all right so now you can just give any color of your choice so i'm just going to give some different color combination you can see here i'm randomly selecting some different color combinations you can see here i think yeah a blue or some other color maybe let me just give some other color yeah so you can see here i have added this different color combinations and now once this is done if you want you can just increase the size by holding the control shift key also and then what you can do is you can insert some icons so go to insert icons and i'm selecting some few random icons here so depending on the requirement you need to choose the right icons for your presentation so i'm going to select some seven icons you can see here some seven icons inserted move this aside make the height and width as 0.5 and you can just give some gray color here and make sure that this is already group right mouse clip uh, click and ungroup this one all right so now i'm going to select each of this white and i'm going to give some shadow effect go to the effects shadows and i'm going to choose some shadow effect if you want you can just increase the distance and you can make it somewhat blur as well okay so it looks something like this then i'm just going to place each icon over to this on top of these options you can see here and once this is done go to insert text box i'm going to add title center align make it bold you can add the title here go to insert text box add detail text here again center align give some gray font maybe size should be 14 and put it here so i'm going to select both of these press ctrl d to duplicate and you need to just add one by one like this you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here you can see here again if you want you can just move it a little bit all right so once this is done now i'm going to select each of these option all right and press ctrl g to group it so you can see here this is grouped here so now with the help of a mount pointer i'm going to select this one and press ctrl g this is not grouped so again select and group it so now here i'm going to select this press ctrl g make sure that is all options has been selected and here also press ctrl g so one by one i'm just selecting these options 
all right and then the last one okay and then one more thing you can add some title here okay which is headline center align white font if you want to increase the size you can increase it all right and make sure it is in the center so you can see here we have done the uh, presentation i mean the slide design now it's uh, time to add some animation so go to animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one first add animation more intense effects you have got wide variety maybe you can see a peek in okay click okay and double click the animation painter and start applying it on each one you can see here all right so this one animation so here instead of this one it should come from left all right so this also should come from left this should come from you can see here from top so you can just change it so i've just uh, again this is from the right this one also from right and this is also from right so if i play it looks something like this the first option second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh so if you want you can just change the any animation instead of this animation you can just go to the more entrance effects maybe you can choose the basic zoom also so basic zoom will work fine as well so whichever options uh, I, the animation effects you'd like to apply you can apply depending on the requirement 